Hello everyone. So today we are going to work on this um, control rig part which takes care of uh, rotating the character to match the flow underneath when it is in drawing mode. So like this. So now you see the character matches the surface angle when it is in the drawing mode. When it's in a supplied surface, it's like this. So the same thing works and the character going downhill as well. This dynamic really changes. Right. So as I said, this is achieved by creating a control rig that calculates the angle underneath and modifying the rotation of the bones of the rig to match the surface angle. So let's see how to do this today. So at the moment, if I try to prone, go pro into prone mode in a angled surface like this, you see the, my legs are hanging in air and similarly the same thing would happen in this way also. So the, now the legs is inside the floor. So what I want to do is, you notice here when I'm walking there is an IK system based on the control rig that fix the placement of foot and I want to have something similar when the character is in prone in mode. Okay, so here is the animation blueprint and here you can see the control rig that is responsible for foot placement. So I'm not going to change this. I'm going to create a new control rig and add it for prone mode over here so for that we first need to create a control rig um we are using queen so since they are using the same skeleton it shouldn't be a problem uh, so right click and create a control rig here skm many control rig draw i'll name it as pro and here it is so at the moment it doesn't do anything so what i want to do is when my character is in drawing mode this is what I'm trying to do. If the character is laying like this, let me get a snip so I can explain it, what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna do two traces. One from here, downwards, one from here, and one from the hip. So then, by doing that, we can detect the points that hit the floor here and here. Then, I am going to add a rotation to the root bone you, that will be calculated based on these two points. So in this case, I will add a rotation this way so that the character will be rotated to match with the surface and that is what I'm going to do using the control rig okay now here to work trace sphere trace by channel this is what we are going to use and the starting point would be as I said I need to get one transform so type is born. First one I'm going to get 
from neck in global space not initial the current one that's what i want so this c is going to be the starting point of the trace and end point should be something below right below the same point so let's say 400 units below so that's going to be the end right okay and i'll keep using the visibility channel that should be fine so similarly we need another trace that to go from pelvis pelvis bone of the character right now uh, to do this transformation we need for the bone we can use this modify transforms node let's test it so here as the first bone i want to modify i'll select root and i will need to change the rotation so how and it should be in additive local so in the local space of the bone whatever the rotation that we are going to insert here will be added so how do we give the rotation so there is a node from axis and angle so this axis should be the axis that we need to rotate of the root bone so again get transform and here we move this part up a little bit here if i select root in the transform we have the rotation and from the rotation we can get an axis using this knot so i think in this case well let's see let's add this and give some angle this angle is in radians if i make it one okay so this is the axis we need to rotate the character the axis is correct and now if i make it plus it rotates this way if i make it minus it rotates that way okay now we need to give calculate this angle using these two points so first we need to make sure we get two valid points here in order to get valid points we need to these both trace nodes should hit so this one and this one should be a valid hit then only we can do a valid calculation so how can we calculate the angle so again let me get a screenshot like this and here so let's say these are the points and to get the angle to calculate the angle in radian we can calculate this height if i call it h this would be the difference between is it components of these two points and this distance would be uh, the difference between x y components x and y components of 
the two vectors so it's like a distance of 2d vector distance of the two vectors that is composed of x and y components so if i divide h by that distance we will get the tan of this angle so this angle we will get the tan of this angle by dividing h with this distance let's say d so then if i calculate the tan inverse of h divided by d we will get this angle so that's the logic here hope that is clear enough and now let me expand this and we can calculate h by getting the difference between the set components and we can calculate d by getting distance between vectors and here as i said we should only consider x and y components as i explained before right now divide h from d so this is the tan value of that angle and now we can use a tan so this is the inverse tangent value this is tan inverse node and here as the result we are getting the angle in radians and that should complete our calculation oh we should connect it here okay right now let me save this compile here we need to add another control rig and let me select it here and as the control rig class I'll assign SKM many control rig pro alright let's see it works fine here if i move over here now you see the character is correcting its angle to match the surface okay great that's exactly what i wanted to do and if the character is facing this way it should still work see nice all right so that's all i wanted to do for today so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the Patreon club see you in another episode goodbye